We're a cosmic bird feeder behind the Blue of You Kids Rehab Center in Toronto. It's a garden of many rooms where stories flourish and grow alongside the trees and plants, and where a remarkable group of adults and children spend the day playing their art. Cosmic Bird Feeder is an outdoor garden and play program at the Blue View Macmillan Kids Rehab Centre in Toronto, where children with special needs share creative play with able-bodied children in a beautiful woodland setting. Each summer, the camp runs several three-week art and play programs for children ages 6 through 12. On any given day, there could be as many as 30 children enjoying the garden. The camp is run by a group of five facilitators, five volunteers, plus a personal support worker for each child with a disability. The Cosmic Bird Feeder and its sister program, Spiral Garden, bring children together through gardening, the arts, and play to celebrate nature and the power of the human spirit. I started with Spiral Garden 22 years ago. And 10 years ago, the parents asked us to create another program here at this site. And so Bodan and I created the Cosmic Bird Feeder. The basis of it is to create opportunities for all of us to connect with the earth, with one another, and with ourselves. The Cosmic Bird Feeder was uh, an opportunity for me to take what I'd learned at the Spiral Garden program and reinvent it, find a new expression for the same principles. We hunted around and we found, even behind me, this plot that had only one swing set on a lawn, a very manicured lawn. And we thought, well, you could use your imagination. This could be, this could be something. He observed that the existing trees around the swing set formed a star-like geometric shape, and with his artistic sense, he imagined this as the shape for the garden. As the garden grew, each of the elements within it, such as the raised garden beds, drew on this inspiration. We brought in these large posts, bird poles, they're called in Siberia, and they, they appear in many cultures. So for me, right off the bat, I wanted to bring in kind of a symbolism that would underlie the play in the garden. Each morning before the children arrive, the staff come together to focus their energies, both physically and spiritually. We do our exercises, our stretches. We do a smudge and we do a song that was given to us by a native elder. And the song, loosely translated, is The Earth is in Need of Healing, We are in Need of Healing. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Earth. For me, that's a very spiritual venture. Smudging is an Aboriginal cleansing ceremony that has become an important spiritual ritual here. So it's about creating a space, like creating a sanctuary, a place that has been nurtured that isn't going to take from you, that's actually going to give back to you. The way I see the gardens is like a gift. And I'm very fortunate to be included at a very, when I was uh, in my early 20s, into this community. So, and I owe a lot to Jan and uh, Paul Hogan who started the Spiral Garden uh, with some other people years ago. So they kind of brought me into this world. 
The joy is palpable. You come on site, uh, parents, you know, will, t will talk to me afterwards, and it's palpable the joy that their children have, and the joy that they feel when they're even just sitting around for the music circle. For myself, is the the gift of having this relationship to such a beautiful thing. In truth, we, we've created a kind of utopia here. There's an honesty that takes place here. Um, there's an awareness. And when you're here, that people give you their attention. And they are truly listening when, when you're speaking, or listening when, even when you're not speaking. That's all there is to it. Uh, everybody! <laughs> really boosting awareness in, in the ways, the many ways that people have of communicating and children have of communicating and how what the children take in now through the songs, through some of the meanings that, that, uh, that we implant in songs and in story and things that characters say, they will have resonance in the future of that child's life. <laughs>